Hello and welcome to Release Date Rewind. My name is Mark J. Parker and I am a film lover, filmmaker, film celebrator. And normally this is an audio podcast wherever you get your podcasts on your favorite apps. But thanks to Portland Media Center, you are about to watch the video component of this show where I celebrate movie anniversaries with my friends. Each month, I usually talk about two different movies that I love with different friends. And we talk about the making of the movies, trivia, any fun memories associated with them. So I hope you enjoy because now it's time to rewind. Well, I am so, so happy to be reunited yeah. with my friend. She's been on the show before. She's back. <laughs> we have Solana Sorrento Hello. in the house. Hello. Hi. How's it going, Solana? Good. Very good. I'm so happy to be back. I, and... you, were, you know, you were one of our most popular. Well, our? Uh, as, if, as if it's me and a team. <laughs> I know. It's me. You were one of my most popular guests, for, for real. That oh, episode wow. we did back in February of last year. I, guess, I can't believe it's been that I long. Know. It doesn't feel that long. I know. We talked about Silence of the Lambs yes. and Hannibal one of the best episodes people loved it people were like oh my god solana is great you need to have her on more <laughs> oh, so finally nice. everyone she has returned yes i'm back <laughs> <laughs> she's back yeah. and we i'm so excited to talk about this movie that stars i know someone that you love i love her too but i know you yeah. love you have been an addict yes. for years of Madonna yes, wearing a Madonna yes, shirt. Yes. <laughs> and I have to say she is so damn good in this movie, A League of Their Own. She is. She really is. And they all uh, are so good. They the cast are. is perfect, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's they really are. Yeah. Penny Marshall yeah. is like queen. Oh yes. my, and she's also in our fave Hocus Pocus, which came out a year after I know. A League of Their Own, right? I know. The yeah. Marshall uh, siblings, I should say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But before we nerd all out about A League of Their Own, I want to, like, ke let's catch up. How's your summer been? I know we were just talking about your crazy flood. Yes. Tell me about, like, your mom's dance recital that you were oh, helping with. okay. So it was her 54th recital. Next year oh is the big God. 55. Yeah. And um, I did the music and the background. I well, didn't perform. Next year yeah. I am. I am. Oh, I'm yeah? dancing. Yeah. Hopefully she'll have, like, alumni and, oh, yeah. yeah. I'll oh, be I tapping. Love that idea. Yeah. I'll be tapping. Oh, Solana, Not ballet, awesome. tap. <laughs> yeah. And then I did something for the two seniors because it was their last year. So I had all these baby, not baby pictures, but they started at three and now yeah. they're 18 off to college. And of wow. course I used, um, I'll remember, I should have used, used to be my playground. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, I know. One of the, I know. I should, maybe I'll use that for next year's seniors. Next year. Totally. Yeah. And, yeah. And I love I'll Remember. By yeah, Madonna. that is oh a good God. song. That yeah. song is so good. So emotional, but like, I know. Got a good beat. I it love does. The yeah. It. You know, I have to admit, I don't love this used to be my playground. I, does that, is that awful? Yeah. I mean, do you know what I, I mean? I, I could see what you mean. I remember seeing it for the very first time. Like, this yeah. is like dating me now. Like, all right, I'm old. But yeah. on Entertainment Tonight, they were like, Ooh. Madonna's going to be in this new movie about girls playing baseball. And here's a sneak peek. And she's on this, like, the swing, you know? Like, yeah. And I was like, I th you know, like, okay. Yeah. Like, but. Oh, yeah. I mean, it makes perfect sense that she made a song for this movie. But, you know. I don't know. I don't love the song. It's not a bad song at all. It's emotional. It's like right. a, a nice kind of like ballad, but it doesn't really fit the movie for me. No. Do you know what I mean? No, like playground, like, okay, but not like, it should be like, this used to be my field. Makes sense. <laughs> really? yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. The, this, <laughs> this used to be my field. Yeah. Yeah, with the girls. Yeah, you're right. Maybe not playground, but you know, the lyrics work. It's just, um, this movie is so energetic and so yeah i mean it pops and the song is very mellow that i'm like that sounds like a really like that would be a movie for a really sad drama you know right. what i mean yeah yeah so i yeah. i just have never really seen the connection but i know it was obviously a big song and well that's why they uh, did it at the know. credits because you couldn't really put yeah. it you yeah. know totally it never really fit in any scene even when like the sisters are fighting or any kind of like downer scene it was the song was too serious or something you know yeah yeah. yeah, but it's a nice maybe, song for sure. Yeah, you know. maybe I'll remember used to would have been better for that movie. Uh, actually, yeah, with the whole you know? you know they're older and they're remembering. Yeah. Well, it's crazy. I was thinking about it earlier today, Solana. You and I have known each other later this year. 
at the end of 2022, I'm pretty sure that will be our 15th anniversary of meeting in the basement at Reading yeah. Academy. Yeah, I know. That I sounds say so it creepy, was but... The very, I know, yes. yeah. She was in the dark corner and I screamed and she, no. she wasn't all that scary. <laughs> I actually probably was because I remember why I called you over. I don't know if you remember this. <laughs> Into the darkness. <laughs> I, I was in the dub room and I was like, all right, how do I do this? Like, I can't ask anybody. And I was like, where is that kid with the blonde hair? Oh he knows God. how to do it. And then I, I heard you. Kid. And I was like, hey, hey, come here, come here. And then that's how and I, I met like, you. And then, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. No, you were really helpful. You're really that's nice. So You're like, funny. sure, no problem. This oh, is how you do nice. it. Yeah. All right. Well, now is a good time. Let's rewind Solana let's go back 30 years ago when we were we weren't even born yet so. <laughs> I wish. Um, 30 years ago July 1st 1992 just a few days ago a league of their own just celebrated 30 years of release so when did you first see this movie Solana do you remember um well I know like I heard of it because of Madonna and everything yep. but I'm obviously not a sports person so I wasn't like <laughs> I wasn't like, oh, I have to see it. But so, yeah, you think you rented it? Yeah, maybe? I think. But I remember the the girls that I went to school with, they were like, you have to see this movie because they saw it. Oh. And and then I was like, all right, I, I'll watch it because Madonna's in it. Yeah. So then, of course, I loved it. And that was probably the only time ever in my life besides that and Ladybugs I ever oh. wanted to try to play sports. Yes. But then when I knew, like, it wasn't that glamorous, I was like, hmm. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 Just... And especially, you probably saw too, and maybe you knew this already, but like I was reading when I was researching the movie, um, yeah, a lot of the act actresses got hurt making it. So yeah, yeah. I totally hear you. Not glamorous, right? Some yeah. broken noses. I think Gina Davis said like so many women were really skinning their knees, you know, yeah. which makes sense. But Right. Whoa. Like, you know, the one scene where the, the girl has like that big black and blue on her, on her like thigh. Yeah, That's that real. real? Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah, that was like oh purple, god. red, yellow, green. Like that was all colors. Oh my god, yeah, it was all the yeah. colors of the rainbow. I thought yeah. for sure I'm like, wow, that's good makeup. Oh yeah. my god. But you know what's funny? I don't know if you heard about this, but uh what's her name? Deborah Winger? I yeah. think Deborah. She was supposed to be Dottie, but then yeah. when she heard Madonna was in it, she wanted to like get out of it. Cuz she was like Interesting. Yeah, she I, was... knew, I knew she was like basically cast right in the lead yeah. role, which is hard because I think Gina Davis is pretty perfect in this yeah. movie. Like, yeah, like she looks stunning, and she's she is so good. I want her she to is. be in more stuff. But yeah, I read that Deborah Winger was in it, but I I didn't know why she left. So what, did she have beef with Madonna? No, she just thought that like she said she didn't want it to be like an Elvis movie. Like you know how uh, Elvis like they always like put him in some kind of movie, and it was just uh, okay. like more yeah. like him singing out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, because they're not really like actors. They're just stars. And yeah. Kind of dumb it down or something. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then she said something like she worked harder than any of the other cast except Lori who, Petty, Deborah Winger. Harder? Oh, really? She said wow. that. Yeah. That's what I read. And, wow. um, she said that she worked real hard. She went for training, um, for like three months. And I mean, oh I think God. they all pretty much did. Like oh, every single one yeah. of them, yeah. You can feel that a lot of them worked really, really hard. And Lori Petty, like you were saying, oh my God, she she's so good in this movie and yeah. all the work that she did. But wow, so yeah, I, that's really crazy. So Deborah Winger must have gotten cast before Madonna to do months of training, right? She did. And, and then, then Penny Marshall wanted Madonna because she just heard that she wanted to, you know, do more movies. And I mm -hmm. guess she just liked her. Like, why not, right? Yeah. I mean, it makes and, such perfect sense to have a movie about all these women, and Madonna obviously was huge, still is huge. Right. Of course, of co it makes total sense to book. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then she bowed out, and she still got paid for the movie because wow. that was in yeah. her contract. Wow. And then, like, I mean, then after that, they cast uh, Gina Davis, and that was perfect. Yeah. And I yeah. heard maybe maybe this is true that yeah, Gina joined like pretty quick to shooting. Did you see that? Like, yeah, she didn't have a ton of prep time. No. So. That's like even more impressive, all the work that she does, because I don't know if she already was pretty athletic. I assume so, since she didn't have a ton of prep time, you know? Right, yeah. That would not be me. Oh, my God. Like, no. I, I would love to do a movie like this if I was an actress, but are you kidding? Much no. like you, like you were saying, no, sports yeah. movies, I'm already like, ugh. I know. I, I have, have a stand-in. from like yeah. failing gym. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know? I know. Like, 
I know. One of the boys kicked a soccer ball in my face. And after that, oh. I was like, I remember I was trying to act all tough, but I was like, yeah. I can't say. Like, oh I my can't. God, I know. Like, I've been yeah. there. I had, I had yeah. like a volleyball to the face. Although at least volleyball is oh. fun. I'm pretty decent at that, but oh yeah, where your where your face is vibrating, but you're just trying yeah. to yeah. No, it's cool, it's cool, but like yeah. you so badly need to sneeze or something. Yeah. I wanted yeah. to cry and be like ah, <laughs> like oh. you know. Yeah. But yeah. um, I'll never forget that. And I was like, my nose is broke. I know it. My nose is broke, but I, I don't. <laughs> Just like act like you don't care. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm so glad you bring up ladybugs. Cause I talked about that on this yeah. show earlier this year. 1992 had such great movies, especially movies about like women and girls, Right. you know, yeah. but, but how amazing to have these two great comedies with, you know, female sports teams. They're so different, but they're yes. such a great, like double feature, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So fun. But yeah, it was reminding me when I've never really loved baseball, honestly. Like, I mean, seeing a, watching a baseball game every now and then, it's been years, but that's always been fun because it's kind of an event. Yeah. You don't really need to pay attention. You're outside. Like, you know. Oh, I've never been to one. Oh, you've never been to <laughs> no. one? I went to oh. like our local one, like Trenton Thunder, it's called, like yeah. once. Uh -huh. But I spent most of the time in the gift shop because they have a dog <laughs> that is the bat boy. <laughs> I, I was petting him with all Aww. the four-year-olds like oh that's so perfect yeah <laughs> and so like that. yeah I mean I would go to one if I had like a box you yeah. know uh -huh. air condition yeah. food right Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Box seats are definitely where it's at. But, you know, even like on a summer evening when it's not too hot or like September, you know? Yeah. It's It's been fun every once in a while, every like 10 years, going to see a game. And, you know, it feels very, you know, like uh, baseball is just so like classic American, yeah. old fashioned, traditional. So it's kind of fun. I care more about that than like going to like a football game. I really don't. Yeah, I know. I can't football, do that. Right? No. So that's why I, I commend this whole cast for doing awesome action. I mean, the, the Gina Davis slide, I know that's not really her. Um, I did read that that awesome, like towards the end, the like catch and the slide, yeah. that was like a stunt double. Mm -hmm. But man, oh, oh, that's like so impressive, you know? Yeah. This summer, Tom Hanks is managing the impossible, the Rockford Peaches. Oh! So let yeah. me set the scene before we get even further into our favorite moments from this this movie. I'm going to just give you some pop culture stuff. Okay? okay. Back in July 1992, this is what was happening, Solana. So John Gotti was in the news. He had just started his life sentence in jail just a couple oh. days prior to this. Okay. I that was fun. So of yeah. course, mafia guy, lots of crimes. He had just gone to prison for, I think, like a week before this came out. Okay. Also, I thought this was funny. I thought you would get a kick out of this. I saw that apparently the first pay bathrooms, the first public bathrooms that you had to pay to use, were introduced in the U.S. in New York City, of course, for 25 cents. So if oh you my had God. to go somewhere, this was I guess, <laughs> I before, like, I need a <laughs> right? Yeah, you would need yeah. a quarter. This was before you could like sneak into like Starbucks before they were on every corner. You would have to pay 25 cents in some public bathrooms. So oh wow, go. yeah, new new uh, thing. And, uh, back yeah. Then. On the music side, the big songs at this time were I'll Be There by Mariah Carey, her cover. Okay. That was really popular. I yeah. love that one. And then how funny, that was number one for a little bit. And right at the, as this movie was like really hitting its stride, Baby Got Back. Was, it's <laughs> oh funny my God. Baby Got Back to me seems so much older than this movie. I know. I thought that know? was in the 80s, but right? yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Sir Mix-a-Lot, Baby Got Back was number one for a while when this okay. was in theaters. Yeah. I thought this was fun on the TV side. Melrose Place randomly premiered July 8th, a week after this movie came out, when not too many shows premiere like that, like on Fox, right. like broadcast, major network. Usually it's like September, October, you know, maybe late August, but that had a summer start. And wow. that was a huge deal. Did okay. you ever watch Melrose? I did, yeah, because it was on after yeah. 90210. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they went hand <laughs> yeah. in hand for but sure. But I was so young, and I still watched oh, it, God. so yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I yeah. would occasionally, I never got into Melrose. I'm sure I would probably love it now, but I never ever got into it. But I would occasionally watch 90210, but I mean, I was young. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, I didn't or, either. I just, I like looking at Luke Perry. Totally, and I was just, yeah. yeah. Everyone <laughs> yeah. is so cute. And yeah. you're just kind of watching them 
cry yeah. and talk and roller skate. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Whatever. But then when I got to high school, I was like, it's not like 90210. It's really not. Like, <laughs> no, it's no. Not. no. Yeah. No. Why is my hair not that like yeah. long and flowy? This is not working out. Yeah. Right? Big movies that were popular. Batman Returns was number okay. one for a while. Yeah. Love that one. Of course, Michelle Pfeiffer, Danny DeVito, Michael Keaton. I love that one so much. That was huge. Unlawful Entry had just come out. I still haven't seen that one, but that was a great 90s thriller. Who's in that? Kurt, Kurt Russell, I think, and Madeline Stowe. That was like one oh, of those yeah, yeah, popular, yeah. you know, thrillers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Unlawful Entry had just come out. House Sitter with Steve Martin and Goldie Hawn was popular. Okay. Patriot Games, which I think is Harrison Ford. I think that's Harrison Ford. Yeah. I forget. Action movie. Yeah. yeah. And of course, Sister Act, which I just talked about on the show a few months ago. That was yes. hugely popular, right? Making yeah. a bunch of money, much like A League of Their Own was about to make. So that's what was going on at the time. So Solana, I'm going to throw it over to you in your own words. For anyone out there who hasn't seen this movie, shame on you. Although I have to admit, I had always seen clips. I had seen clips for years. I knew the movie, but I have to admit everyone. And I'm embarrassed to say this. This was my first time watching the whole movie from start to finish. Isn't that crazy, well, Solana? Now? Like recently? Yeah. Just, re oh, just wow. earlier this week. Yeah. I, I thought I had seen it, but I realized as I was watching, I'm like, well, I know that moment. I know that line. I've seen that. But wow, I have never seen some of these scenes before. Oh, crazy. wow. I know. Yeah. I don't know what took me so long. I, maybe, maybe like you were saying, it was a sports movie. It was a it was a historical movie, so maybe I just was like, mm, I'll get around to it someday. But yeah, they anyway, play so, they play it so much, so maybe you thought yes. you saw the whole thing. You I know? know I saw it on TV, yeah. you know, here and there. I know a couple years ago, uh, for Greg's mom's wedding, it was on TV, and I watched like a good chunk of it. But I guess I just never realized like I didn't know the beginning, how the how like Gina Davis and Lori Petty like joined the team. I'm like, right. Oh, I, John Lovitz, his whole bit, yes. <laughs> you know, and he's so funny. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Solana, tell us in your own words, what is A League of Their Own about? It's about, well, during the war, uh, they had to stop baseball, obviously, because yeah. men were getting shipped out and drafted. So um, uh, Harvey, I can't think of Walt Harvey, the chocolate guy. Yes. <laughs> um, 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 he's supposed to be exactly. like Wrigley, you know, yes. the – yeah, played he's based off of him. Yeah, played right. by Gary mm -hmm. Marshall. He decides that he wants to keep baseball going, and he mm -hmm. wants to have girls, obviously, you know, but they have to be good-looking but play right. baseball really well. Yes. So he wants to start a league, and then he goes – well, he sends people all around the country to get – you know, go watch uh, softball games and baseball right. games and get uh, women from all, all, all over the country to be, I think, a part of – Four teams, I think it was. Yep. It Rockford sounds, yeah, Peaches there are four and teams. yeah, four teams. And uh, then you follow the two sisters um, yeah. that like live on a dairy farm and yeah. One and sister, in, I think they're in Oregon. Am I right? Yeah, I think yeah, the, yeah, yeah like I think so. There. Yeah. Uh huh. Dottie and, and Kit. Dottie's uh, husband is um, fighting in the war, and Kit's not married. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you follow them, and then you just start. Following who's the yeah. next one? Oh, Marla. I, Marla. Marla. I love Marla. I know oh my gosh. Marla. She is so yeah. funny. Yeah. So then you just it, it it's a good uplifting story. Just you know, just a bunch of women coming together and yeah, just doing something they love because they all loved baseball. Absolutely. So yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then uh, we meet in uh, we meet Tom Hanks, <laughs> yes. who's pretty funny. You in know, the movie. it's so funny. He this is a role that he doesn't normally play often. You know, no. he's kind of a jerk. Yeah, he's spitting. He's chewing dip. Like he's I know. He, he's he's the spitting is like so gross, but so I funny. know. Yeah, uh, he's just doing it in front of him all the time. Like yeah. he's he's drunk. It's funny to see him be um yeah like a jerk. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But um, and then it just I think it's just a good story of like family and like you know with the sisters and yeah, um, and I I don't know I guess did yeah. I explain it yeah well that's enough beautiful. yeah well said <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah you know this it's funny because like Tom Hanks is billed first in the in the credits yeah uh, but I think that was just because he was he was and still is such a huge star but really it's all about Gina Davis and Lori Petty really you know, the yeah the sisters are yeah. really front and center. And of course, we'll get into it. But then they have their 
sad, you know, argument, which really like splits them up. And, yeah. you know, yeah, they, they very much are at the center. And, and it's great because, yes, there are lead characters, but it feels like every single character has a great moment. You know they what I mean? do, like, yeah. There are so many great supporting women that they all, like, you really get to know them. They're not just like, oh, yeah, she had one line and off you go. You know? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. Okay, so now, before we get into our favorite scenes, favorite lines, I'll just tell you, we'll just brief, briefly talk about those major players, where they were in their careers, because it's always fun, I think, to kind of see, like, what yeah. had just come out that they were in. So, so yeah, like you said, this is, you know, the, the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, A-A-G-P-B-L. <laughs> Real group, so this is a fictionalized story of a real life, you know, team. Right. The screenwriters were Lowell Gans and Babalu Mandel. What a name, Babalu. I know. I saw... <laughs> Very yeah. impressive. I I feel like here's your Oscar just for your name. Yeah. So they had worked together. They wrote City Slickers, Parenthood, oh, okay. and Splash. So okay. those were some big hits right before this came out, right? We have director Penny Marshall, whose yes. brother Gary, we were just talking about, is in the movie. Penny, she's so great. Of course, we know her as an actress, director. She did a lot. So she had just previously directed Awakenings, the movie with Robin Williams. I still haven't actually seen oh. that one, but that came out, I think, a year or two before this one. She directed Tom Hanks in Big, and she directed Whoopi in Jumpin' Jack Flash. Oh, okay. So she okay. had some big movies under her belt. She, I was reading, and maybe you did, you saw this too, Solana, that she was inspired to make the movie and I guess got the screenwriters involved and, and talked to the filmmakers of this documentary she watched. It was so inspiring. It was a 1987 documentary called A League of Their Own, I think. I think that's oh. actually what it was like titled. It was okay. a TV doc. And so she talked to the two women, Kelly Candell, I believe is her name, and Kim Wilson. So you'll see in the credits of this movie, it says story by those two. Because, you know, the, yeah. the, the team is modeled after after the team they uh, documented. So I thought that was cool that Penny's just watching the stock and it's like, we yeah. have to turn this into a scripted movie, you know? So on the cast side, Tom Hanks, like we were just saying, he had just done Bonfire of the Vanities, Joe versus the Volcano, which is such an odd movie that he did yeah. with Meg Ryan, Turner and Hooch, okay. The Burbs, and of course Big. So... Big star, lots of great comedy there. Yeah, Gina Davis, like we were saying, she had apparently just sort of swooped in in the last few days of prep before doing this. She had just done a year prior, of course, one of the iconic movies ever, Thelma and Louise. Yes, right? yeah. Love that movie. She had done that, and of course she did Earth Girls Are Easy and one of my all-time faves, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, yeah. <laughs> right? Don't yeah. you love Beetlejuice? And yes. she's so good in that, too. Oh, she my is. One of my all-time faves, so... She, and of course, The Fly. She was in that gross Oh, right, remake yeah. With Jeff Goldblum in yes. the 80s. So she had done some cool things. Lori Petty. She had done a ton of TV, but she was just in Point Break with Keanu and Patrick Swayze and Cadillac Man. Now we're getting to Madonna. Yeah. Madonna had just a year prior released her Truth or Dare documentary, which okay. was huge. Yeah. Right? How many times have you watched Truth or Dare? Oh man. Well, I have it on DVD. So, um, and yeah. like watching it now, I can't believe I mm -hmm. watched it when I was the age that it, I was when it came out. Yeah. I mean, probably a lot of it went over my head. Oh, I'm maybe. Sure. <laughs> but but yeah. yeah, so Madonna did Truth or Dare, right? She was also just previously in movies Shadows and Fog, which was directed by Woody Allen. I oh, I did see that. I didn't I, see that one. I didn't realize she was in a Woody Allen movie. Okay. Yeah, it's it's all black and white. Like I yeah. kind of like just fast forwarded yeah. to her. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. really <laughs> remember what it's about. Oh yeah, but I think well, she's he... like a fortune teller or something. Oh okay, I, I think, that. or maybe that's he another made... movie. So she had worked with him, and she was of course in a movie I loved as a kid, Dick Tracy. Yes. Oh yeah. <gasps> Me too. Oh, I loved it. Yes. Tracy. Yeah. I'll have to bring you when that hits. It's, I think that was in 1990. So I, we have a while before it hits its next anniversary, but um, maybe I'll bring you on and we'll have to talk yeah. about Madonna and that. Cause it's so weird. So good. So colorful. I love her song. She made, a, I feel like she did a couple songs for that. Well, one, yeah, but I, that I loved more. Yeah. When she that's, sings more. That's my favorite all time favorite Madonna album. I'm breathless. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, oh, that's and I did more. I did that for tap one year. I, I'm gonna, I'll have to record it and oh show you God. the recording. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. My God, I love that. Yeah. That was pretty iconic. Well, Cause it was Stephen Sondheim that. too. Oh wrote, really? He wrote more. He oh. wrote the song that she sang with Mandy Patankin at the okay. piano, the slow song. Yeah. Yeah. And he wrote a couple other songs for the movie. 
Wow, I had no idea. That's a Sondheim movie. Oh my yeah. gosh. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So yeah, so she did that. And then on the music side, she was about to release in later in, Oct in October 1992, I believe, her erotica album. So she was really like in her sexy days. Yeah. But her previous album at this time was Like a Prayer in 1989, which was, of course, massive. You know? Right. So, yeah, she, she was doing some huge things at the time. And like we said, it made perfect sense to cast her because she was a major pop star. Of course, you'd have her as one of the ladies. Yeah. You know? And yeah. she's really so good. She and Rosie yeah. back me up. <laughs> I they know. Such, they're such a great duo. Oh, my gosh. And just the little things they do, I'm sure a lot of it had to be improvised because the, just the way they reacted to things, yeah. it's so perfect. You know? Yeah. We got to mention Rosie. This was her first movie, I think. Yeah. Her first movie role. She had only done a, a, a few TV shows, TV series Stand By Your Man and Give Me a Break. She was in a good amount of episodes of those. And she, of course, was a comic. But yeah, this was like her first, you know, uh, role in a movie. And what yeah. what a splash. I know she was, later on, she was nominated for Breakthrough Performance at the MTV Movie Awards for this, which is so fitting. I don't think yeah. she won. But wow, what a great way to make your movie moment, you know? Yeah, I know. It's so good. I know. She'll be, I guess, maybe a guest star in the League of Their Own reboot. That's I saw her. that, yeah. 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 I wonder yeah. how that will be. I, you know, it's funny. I know we're jumping ahead a little bit, but after this came out, I had no idea. Maybe you did. There was a, already a League of Their Own TV show. I didn't did know that. Did you see that? Oh, no. yeah. It only aired six episodes. I think it was a, it was a quick flop. Um, but yeah, there was, and it was sort of like a sequel to the movie. It was a different cast. Yeah. Some of the same women were in it some of the smaller roles, yeah. you know, none of the leads, but um, yeah, it was more, you know, adventures with Dottie and the girls, it said. And yeah, I think it might've aired on ABC or something. Oh, but, uh, I, yeah. I don't know. I kind of, I don't know. I know, it's, yeah. I know what you mean. Once I like read that, I was like, what? I didn't know that. But the more I was reading about it, I was like, oh, okay. This sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah. But it's hard because a lot of movies turned into short lived TV shows back right. then. So yeah. You know. But yeah, so Rosie will, I guess, pop pop in on the new one which will be on amazon prime and it looks fun looks like a good group of girls so yeah hopefully it's cool i know and nick offerman is supposed yeah. to be like the tom hanks so that yes. should be funny yeah which i think that could work really well i mean it's not hard to picture him in that role because he already played grumpy yeah in parks and rec so yeah yeah you're still missing the cutoff man now that, now that's something that i would like you to work on before next season because it's flash Tell me, how many times have you seen this movie? Do you know? Can you count? I say I watch it at least tw two or three times a year. So I don't know. Let's say oh, wow. 20. Let's say 20. Wow. Big fan. I love yeah. that. Wow. Yeah. That's Because whenever great. it's usually on at night, so you put it on and yeah. just relax and yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. It's such an easy movie to just fall right into and you're hanging out with the girls yeah. and you know, it's it really is such a fun, nice movie, you know? It's just something about this time period of the early 90s and the look of this movie that it's like just so, it's immediately nostalgic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. so nice and sweet and you're just gonna have a good time and let it wash over you, you know? Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Next week will be part two of this discussion. And in the meantime, please follow Release Date Rewind on Instagram.